Take a deep breath in. And release it. Allow yourself to just be for a second. And as you hear be, notice a doer that's trying to do being. How do I be? Because this little doer doesn't understand that being's already happening. This poor doer has had quite a lot of work. Since you were a little kid, there's this doer. It's always gotta be somewhere else. It's always gotta do it right. Listen to the being energy that already exists and hold the present space for that doer. Connect to the being of the now. And notice how the doer would have no job then and be scared. Let the doer be scared. While you listen to this from that beer that sees all the little doers and all the make it happens and all the don't get hurt and all the shame, just listen to this meditation from the being energy. And if you catch yourself entangled with a doer energy, just allow. this allowing space, I'm going to bring up some things that might trigger you. But it's better to be present and open to what the trigger is trying to show you than avoid your trigger. You're bigger than everything that triggers you. This present space that you are is bigger than your entire past, than anything that felt traumatic. You are capable with dedication you are capable of holding space and being an incredible loving space for the depths of all your triggers. So listen from this space while you feel whatever you feel. From this space, I wanna offer you to take a second and think about your current bank account and notice just what you feel.
Notice if you feel avoidant, like you don't want to look at it. Just notice that. Notice there's a pattern of not wanting to look at it, if that's there. Or notice if you feel shame. Just be present for the feeling of shame. Notice if you feel motivated. And from this present space, be present for the feeling of motivated. Notice if you feel excited. And from this space, be present for the feeling of excited. Whatever you feel when you think about your current bank account or lack of bank account. Be present. And notice whatever you feel exists. And whatever you feel is a sign that money controls you. Just be present for that. Even if it's motivation, be present for this idea that more money would make you worthy. Be present for the illusion of unworthiness. Be present for the little kid that doesn't want to disappoint a parent, doesn't want to lose a parent. needs a parent's approval. If you feel triggered by what I'm saying, be present for that. Whether you have a lot of money or you're in debt a lot of money or you're aiming towards a ton of money, notice how all of those things imply money is bigger than you. If you think more money makes you more worthy, then wouldn't you have to start from a place of unworthiness? Be present for any area of shame, or unworthiness, or lack, or judgment that you have because you've unconsciously tied these things to money. And if just for a second we let the money part go and sat there with the you that feels like a failure. Like you're better than. 
like you're worse than. Just allow that to be seen. We've never seen what your value is if these energies were healed. Whatever's showing up, allow it. Be present for all the yeah, but voices. Yeah, but Kyle, I have to pay the bills. Yeah, but Kyle, we need to eat. Money is a real issue. And ask yourself, how much of your life is filled with these thoughts? What percentage of every day is filled with, I gotta make more money, I'm not enough, I never can keep up with my bills, I'm going to go broke, am I going to end up homeless, how can I be more rich than I've ever been? Be present for all these thoughts that are just about money or the lack of money. How much of that energy is holding on? Fear, survival. And if we're holding on to all those thoughts, what powerful, loving, abundant, magical thoughts can't get in? What if a whole new life is trying to show up for you? What if a more abundant life is trying to match you connecting to the true abundance of what you are? And what if it can't? Because we're holding on to all these fear-based thoughts about money. Even though we have real issues like bills and things we have to take care of, what if we just let go of our fear-based attachment to those things and open up to there's something on the other side of that? And notice if you let go of your fear of money, you might see a fear of not being enough. A fear of a parent saying, I told you so. Did you hear some lie that you're worthless if you don't make money? Did you hear a lie that money is 
the biggest form of security. What if your connection to yourself is a higher form of security and ironically would bring in more money? Notice any energy that's trying to fall apart, that's tired of holding on. What if we're done keeping it all together? What if your five-year-old is tired of dealing with your money situation so you can be enough to your dad? And what if you see that child that's been doing it all? And you be that space for that child. And if instead of you giving this child this endless job of keeping you safe financially, we just say to the child that holding on energy if everything was okay right now, what would you need? What does that energy need from you right now? To rest? To be acknowledged? To be seen? To be forgiven? To let go? To collapse? What if you say to that child, you're allowed to collapse in my body. You're allowed to release. You're allowed to let go. You're allowed to surrender. You're forgiven. You're done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And watch as the child kicks in with, but if I don't do this, we're not gonna get any bills paid and we're gonna go broke and we're gonna... I hear you. I hear you. Thank you for caring so much. The implication has always been only that fear-based child can get the bills paid. Only that fear-based child can bring in money. Fear is the only way we're gonna make money. Let that child rest. Maybe this time is ready for the end of survival and the birth of thriving 
of presence, of connection? What if there is nothing to hold on to? And anything that feels like it's falling apart must fall apart. It'll fall apart at its pace. Notice the egoic you trying to force it to fall apart. And notice that limbo that now you've shifted to that says, okay, I'm going to let it fall apart. I don't have to keep it together. Because we've never seen what you're capable of on the other side of holding on. We've never seen what you're capable of on the other side of letting go. What if you only connect to that which is expanding? What if you only connect to that which will never die? What if the space in your heart is abundance? Find the abundance that's always here that will never fall apart. If you feel the old energy is still stuck or on the way of collapsing, of course, that's fine. It might take time to mourn this. These energies are learning that they're safe with you. Instead of finding the abundance through money, instead of just having a goal, I'm making a million dollars in the next two years, whatever, just cut out that middleman and connect to the abundance that is right now. That voice that goes, then will more money come implies that's the big goal, but it's not. That's an implication that money controls you again. Let it go. What are you on the other side of abundance? Trust me, the money issues will take care of themselves. Connect to the truth. All of those unworthy sentences, all of those I'm not enough, all of those fixing the lack, those are made up. Just because they're familiar doesn't mean they're true. Anything that can fall apart is not you. It's a false energy that was built out of fear to be enough in your childhood. Let that poor child fall into you. Slowly with time, feel the truth of the abundance that can't be seen with the eye but just is. And instead of hearing that little fear that goes, then will my money thing change? Instead of that, be open 
to all the effortless ways that life might become abundant for you. Like, you might just hear a voice. If I realize I am abundance, then maybe my life will feel abundant more and more. If I realize I am abundance, maybe I can let go of those things that told me I'm not. Maybe I can let go of those people that always tell me I'm not enough, at least my attachment to them. If you're just abundance, what, on both the internal and the external now, can you let go of? Is there anything you've been holding on to to prove to others you're abundant because you don't see that you are yourself? What comes up when I say that? What if you let go of that? What if you forgave that? What if you sold that? What if you released that? What things have you been doing to keep that lack and fear alive? Have you been watching the news? Have you been gossiping? Have you been judging? What if you let go of that? What if you actually change that behavior and stop doing the things that keep the fear going? Your abundance, you're a higher frequency than any of your addictions. You have the opportunity to prove me wrong if you want, or you can prove me right. Notice that voice that fights for your limitation. And I'm gonna introduce you to the voice that proves your abundance. How different would your life be? How abundant would your life be? If 80 to 90% of the day you were connected to that voice versus the fear-based voice as far as abundance goes. What if your practice showed you you were abundance all day more and more until that became your resting place and you just gently released through permission, through forgiveness, through crying out, through release the old story. The old story that says, I gotta make money so my mom sees my worth. That's survival. And imagine if you understood you're abundant, so you never had to prove it to anyone again. Let's cut out these middlemen that say, your worth is seen through the outside. You're gonna see it directly now and you're gonna practice it every day. And you're gonna slowly reduce the behaviors that keep the lack alive. That fear, that lack, that false energy isn't real. You've just kept it alive so much, you think that if it dies, you die. You don't even have to be the one that causes it to leave. You just keep filling with abundance. The abundance that's here right now. And eventually, 
what no longer serves you will no longer exist. Feel this now space that's here for both the abundant energy and both the fear energy. And notice this new energy that's here holding space for those two energies and more. It's just here now. That's abundance. Be with the idea that this energy is worth more than billions of dollars, especially practiced and repeated until it's the truth in your body. This energy is worth so much more than the highest amount your fear-based ego can strategize. You no longer need abundance. You are abundance. Feel that. Feel, you might feel a higher level of the abundance of the peace of the now and a little bit less of the yeah, but voice. Hear it, see it. Understand it, but don't move like it's true. If you're abundance, play with this concept just in passing thought terms. If you're abundance, what's possible? If you are abundance versus you're not abundance and you're chasing external abundance, what's possible? You're also the abundance for all those patterns that say, I'm scared to be unworthy. I'm scared to be shamed. I hear you and I'm here with you. You're no longer needing to be seen through the world's egos and other people's egos and your parents' egos. I am here with you, even if you feel shame. You're allowed to feel shame in my body. You're allowed to feel like a failure in my body. You're allowed to feel unworthy in my body. I am unconditional love. I am abundance. Take a minute to feel that. Maybe it doesn't want to be seen, that's okay. Maybe it's still hiding because it doesn't believe you. Maybe you haven't been solid enough for it to know that it's safe in you. And maybe that's your new calling, to become the safety and security that you thought only existed in money. If you think your security exists in money, then even if you have a hundred million dollars, you're gonna always have this fear that it could be taken away. Because your security is outside of you. In this new paradigm, you are security, even if it's taken from you. This builds a foundation for it to not be taken from you. This builds a foundation for more to come. This builds a foundation for you to donate freely because you understand you're the supply. Every dollar you've ever made came from you. Let's get excited about you, not the money. Who cares about the money? 
release anything that can fall apart. Anything that feels like an external thought, release it. You are abundance. You are the money. Just watch as that little voice again. So money will come? Oh, I hear you. You're so scared. I love you. You're allowed to be scared in my body. You're allowed to forgive everything in my body. You're allowed to forgive what's in the bank account now in my body. You're allowed to forgive your big debt that you're in. You're allowed to forgive the hoarding that you've done. You're allowed to forgive any financial mistake. You are forgiven. It doesn't exist now. It's fine. Release all of that attachment. Release all of that story. If it doesn't want to fall right now, that's fine too. You're allowed to hold on in my body as long as you want. I'm just not going to feed that anymore. So you feel free to collapse into me whenever you want. Because I am abundance. I am security. I am freedom. I am financial freedom. And I release all of these hows. I release all the how do I make money to find the abundance on the outside because I am abundance. And instead of moving from how out of fear, we're going to move as we keep building this abundance understanding out of a calling. We need to become a safe space so life can give you new things. Life can give you new possibilities. Life can give you new callings. Be okay with not knowing what they are for a long time. Just slowly forgive what you can tell in your body right now that they're not. Feel the abundance of the now and combine it with the thank you to the little you that's always tried to do your money thing the right way and is exhausted. Thank you. Thank you. You're free. I'll take it from here. I'm going to take it from a thriving vibration and I forgive and I gently release when it's ready to go the surviving vibration. It doesn't matter what's happening on the external, like, oh, the market collapsed or whatever. If you're, you know, if you had something happen that put you in major debt, that doesn't have anything to do with what you are. That can change if you connect to what you are. Stop believing your connection is on what's going on outside. You're just going to always be a victim if you think your abundance has anything to do with what's going on outside. Your abundance is you. Outside can do whatever it needs to. You are abundance. And everything you've ever done in your life was with the unconscious belief that you are what's going on outside. Wait till you see what you can do with the understanding that you are abundance, that it's on the inside. You are security. You are freedom. You are financial abundance. Feel free to say that out loud. Take a deep breath in and say, I am financial abundance. Because if we're always thinking, I need financial abundance, we're saying, 
I'm in lack. That's what we're declaring. I'm in lack. And in old consciousness, I can create financial abundance was great. But in this consciousness, it's a direct connection. Wait till you see what you can do when you connect only with what you truly are. Trust me, the bills will get paid. All the yabats will take care of themselves. When you drive your car, you don't constantly think, yeah, but what if I crash? What if I crash on the way to the store? What if I crash? How much more would you crash if that was the only way you thought? You just think we're getting to the store. We go, I'm the driver of the car, and you dramatically lower your accidents. Let's do that with money. Stop thinking, yeah, but every second and step into the actual truth of the never ending joy, bliss and freedom of what you are. Infinite abundance. Meditate on this every day. You'll be blindsided by days that you just cry out a bunch. You won't know why, you'll just hear a chord. Or you'll hear something, like your child laughing or something, or you'll see something that's just beautiful and you'll just release. What was that? That was some of that kid holding on. But we have to create the safe space for the kid to know that they can go. You are going to dedicate yourself to becoming more and more the abundance that you've always seeked outside. You are the abundance. Say it again, I am the abundance. Find the enoughness of this now space. Stop thinking it's in the high that you feel if you hit jackpot. Stop thinking it's in the high of falling in love. This now, is abundance, it's enough. This gray area, this silence, this here-ness, this present moment, this is enough. Practice that, know that, prove that to yourself. This is abundance. This is your flow. This is your source. This is you. Deep breath in, release it. Hold some space for the new you, hold some space for the old you. All of you get to hang out together. All in this energy that's right here. Thank you to the me that got me this far. Thank you to the me that I truly am for being so patient. Thank you to my parents for whatever they directly or indirectly taught me about money. From here, hold space for all that exists. Whatever you feel is perfect. Because it's there. Open up to the work that you're doing and that you've just done might be worth more. Might be worth more than a job that you don't like might be worth more than some things you're holding on to. Might be worth more than flipping through social media or watching the news. Might be worth more 
than that scared vibration. You are the abundance. Take a deep breath in and release it. From this place, look at your current bank account. Notice what you feel. Does it feel a little less like you? Does it trigger you less? Does it feel more like it's just a thing? Does it feel more like, not out of fear, but that bank account's about to change? Does it feel more forgiven? Does it feel more held versus judged? Does it feel more gratitude, even if it's in the negative? Can we stop shaming ourselves and numbers? Just say thank you. And be there for everything you feel. And connect again to that space that holds all of this. Take a deep breath in and release it and know that many of the benefits of the meditation you've just done will happen later. You just did the work. Just listen throughout the day when you feel like doing something that isn't your truest, when you feel a judgment for your money situation, just connect to this now and relax when you feel like I got to get somewhere else in that fear of vibration just become the space and say I see you I love you do this every day let's see how much your life changes because you've changed what you've connected to you are the abundance that you've been chasing. Deep breath in and release it. Sit comfortably in your chair or on your bed or wherever you are. And open your eyes. And be present with a little bit of new hope a little bit of gratitude, a little bit of joy. Welcome back. <laughs>